So we are basically basing our movement off of what was called the Freedom Riders, all right? And I kind of compiled some information for you because I want you to know how powerful this type of movement is. So the first Freedom Ride began on May 4th, 1961. 13 riders, it started with 13 riders, seven black riders and six white riders. They left Washington DC on Greyhounds and Trailway buses to open the world's eyes to the injustices that were being done on the public tran transit system. Their plan was to ride through Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, ending with a rally in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Freedom Riders set out to challenge the status quo. They were African Americans and whites riding together. Their tactic for their journey was to have at least one interracial pair sitting in adjoining seats. At least one black rider sitting up front, which were seats that usually were reserved for white riders. While the rest would sit scattered throughout the rest of the bus, one rider, one single rider, would abide by the South's segregation ideals in order to avoid being arrested. Just like that. <laughs> for those who were arrested. These people planned on being arrested. They didn't plan on the ride being easy. They didn't think that it was just gonna be a fun vacation for themselves. They knew the risks that were involved. And it went beyond being arrested. What happened were riders faced physical abuse beyond something that like, we cannot imagine. We have not experienced. There was actually a bus that was set on fire by a mob and as if that's not bad enough, these people who were injured and literally forced to be trapped inside this burning bus were refused rights into the hospitals. And when they finally got into the hospitals, they were kicked out because the hospitals were afraid of what the mob would do. But the writers, despite the president himself, President Kennedy saying, you know what, you guys need to take it easy as writers. You guys need to calm down. They kept going. They wouldn't let, I mean, their numbers fluctuated just like ours did. They lost riders, and then they built it back up. Then they lost riders, people would be injured, people would be arrested, they filled jails, and people would always be there to refill their spots, to take over for them. And these riders were fighting for something that they truly believed in, something that was affecting them. We're not those riders. We're not the freedom riders. We are the rescue riders. And we are fighting not for civil rights, we are fighting for human rights, basic human rights, for people to be able to just live. Because they were born in another place does not, it, it doesn't matter if you were born in Africa, that doesn't change the fact that you are a child and you deserve the right to be a child. And that's what we're fighting for. It's something completely selfless because it's not about us. We're not fighting for our freedom, we have that. That's why we're able to be here and riding together and traveling and sleeping in the streets. That's, we have that freedom. But there are thousands and thousands of people who don't have that freedom. And I, I dare I say people because these are children. These are children that the world, they care nothing about them. They don't have oil, they don't have diamonds, they have nothing that we value. It's just their lives. And this group here, recognizes that, we understand the value of human life, no matter where they are in this world. And that's what we are fighting for. We are fighting for someone else. So right now, this is what I want to tell you. Um, and this is going to be something that's incredible for us. I want this to be a celebration because it was for the Freedom Riders. It was a celebration and it was a movement to be enjoyed and um, just continued on in, in a celebratory fashion. And so. This is, is what I will say. One of the biggest things that the Freedom Riders did, that, I mean, I'm just learning this information. I literally researched for this, like, right now. Um, but what they did was they sang freedom songs. Like, the power of a song. 
um, they would fill the jails and, and the jail, I mean, they would put them on death row because they refused to stop singing freedom songs. And I feel like that is what we are doing. And so with that, um, like no need for applause, this, this wasn't for applause, but um, I would like to um, invite some gentlemen up who wrote a freedom song for all of you. Um, yeah. Woo! And I just want to, Oh, go ahead. You can cough it up. Come on, 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 caring about the same things. We are doing so much. You have no idea. And so uh, just keep going and know that you are making a huge difference and you are opening the world's eyes to something that has been unseen for 23 years. And this is going to end a war and you are all now a part of it. You are a part of history. They wrote about the freedom writers and they will write about the rest of the writers, I guarantee you. So. Here's the rescue right here. Come in, 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 come